Like most photographers, I've tried so many different camera bags, only to wish I could combine certain elements of each bag into one perfect backpack. So although the perfect bag for most people may not quite exist, after doing plenty of research and now using this one for almost six months, I really do think I've found the closest bag to perfect at least for me. What's cracking my photography friends? In this one, we are taking the Shimoda Explore version two, well, out exploring to show you why I really do love this bag. Now this is a bag mostly designed for travel or landscape photography, but for me, I really needed a bag that fits in pretty much anywhere you can take out on your day-to-day -day photography jobs, as well as epic outdoor adventures. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use this bag, how I pack it, what you can fit in, and all of its different features. So hopefully you can decide if it is the right bag for you. I have broken this video down into different sections, which I think are really important when you're looking for a camera backpack. So you can skip forward if you need to. And all the links are down in the description if you do wanna check out the bag for yourself. So let's get exploring. So the first big plus for this bag is the different sizing options. You have a 25, a 30, and a 35 liter. I'm using the 30 liter. It will depend on what core unit you can fit inside the bag. So I'll show you what I can fit in this one later on. Also important with the sizings is that the 25 liter does only fit a 13 inch laptop while the 30 and 35 fit up to a 16 inch laptop. So pricing wise, it definitely isn't the cheapest bag out there. But when we do compare it to other bags of a similar price point, I think for what you're getting, it's definitely going to be worth it. And if you're using it for a long time, again, I think it's going to be worth your money. Next up, looking at the overall design and also the materials used, this bag does come in two colors. We've got the green and also a really slick looking black. Both colors have these brown leather pulls, which give it a real premium feel. And the Shimoda branding is actually quite subtle, which is nice as well. I really do love the green, but it does give you a little bit more of an adventure feel. The black to me looks a little bit slicker and is going to fit in a little bit more for probably day-to-day -day jobs. I did get the green because it was actually on sale. I got it a little bit cheaper, but I do like the green. And for me, I often wear a lot of black, so it complements that nicely as well. Both colors have this teal blue inside, which looks good, but it's also super practical because it makes seeing all your black camera gear really easy. The outside of the bag feels super premium and is also water resistant. It has YKK splash guard zippers helping to protect your gear at the zipper level. As mentioned, it's water resistant, but for those extra testing conditions, it does also come with a rain cover. It does also come with a five year warranty. And another thing to note here is if you go online, you can actually order alternate straps. They call these the women's straps. These are designed obviously to fit better with different body shapes and sizes. The next point to me, which was super important is the overall comfort of the bag. Now I picked this bag up when I was heading to the US and Canada, where we were literally going to be hiking nearly every second day. So it needed a really good waist strap. It needed to be comfortable on those long hikes, but it also needed to look good when you remove the waist strap. And I didn't want it to be too chunky and look like you were carrying around a hiking bag when you're using it in the city. This bag also has these nicely padded mesh materials across all the surfaces that do touch your body. The straps are also nicely shaped and quite thick, so they spread out that load and don't rub. And as mentioned, the waist strap, which is removable, is super comfortable as well. Perhaps most important here is also the rigid frame inside this bag, which means the bag literally always keeps its shape. All the straps can also be adjusted. It also has these load adjuster straps at the top and also a neat little chest strap as well. One thing I only recently found is this little chest strap actually has a little whistle on it as well. Another well thought out feature about this bag. So next up looking at the camera storage, again here, depending on which bag size you go for, will depend on the core unit that fits inside the bag. With the 30 liter, I have the medium mirrorless core unit, which largely fits everything I need. The one thing you will notice about this bag is that it is accessed through the back to get to the camera cube. Access through the back like this is really handy to me because when you're wearing your bag on your back it makes it pretty much impossible for anyone to steal any of your gear and it opens slightly different to most bags it opens out this way it makes it really easy to get into your bag 
It's also got these handles on the side so you can lift it up like that. And it means the back of your bag will get dirty, but this isn't the part that you're carrying on your back. So really good design when packing. If I put my R5 more on its side, it will just fit in. It is pretty snug. If you do go for the 35 liter with a larger core unit, that one is actually a little bit deeper as well. This means you can probably also stand up a few longer lenses. Even with this medium core unit though, there is many different ways to pack it. My main two options consist of a one body three lens drone setup or a two body three to five lens setup but there's many different ways you could pack this so just back to the core unit quickly they do come with plenty of different dividers and these things the velcro is super sticky so once they're stuck in place they stay there which is really good as well they're strong enough to kind of be protective but they're also really lightweight so the next point that's really important is camera access now as well as having that door at the back to access the main camera cube we also have side access which is great to pop out your camera quickly when you're wearing the bag but for me what i also use is actually the separate top compartment so when I have my camera set up with the mic on, I can actually just sit this in the top compartment, pull it out ready to go without having to take the mic off. So all these options are really handy to have in any bag as well. Another important thing I look for on any camera bag is having a neat compartment to carry your tripod. That's usually on the side of the bag. This one, it has it on both sides so you can carry tripod, drink bottle, and the really great thing about this bag is that they actually pack away neatly when you're not using them. So it keeps the bag nice and slim. So simply unzip the side here, pull out this black thing, pop in your tripod, tighten it up. And if need be, you can fix it in with this top and bottom strap. The good thing about this compartment is if you have those really thick water bottles, those chunky ones, they will actually fit in this bag as well. I know a lot of camera bags with side pockets, they don't end up fitting, which is nice on those big hikes when you wanna carry a lot of water. I've also managed to fit kind of thin blow up mattress down the side here when I'm hiking, which is handy as well. So looking at some of the other pockets, which is the really crazy thing about this bag, you really have so many. Near that side zip where we found the side pockets, you can also open up this whole section. On one side, you will literally find a filter holder here, which is super useful. And on the other side, this is where we have our side camera access. Even on the straps, we have some really useful pockets. On one side, find this pocket here, which literally you can carry a wireless mic. So this little strap here, it connects to keep it tucked away out of the weather or you can just keep it tucked away out of your frame when you're recording video. You can fit a phone in here, which is good as well. Sometimes when you're hiking, I don't like it in my pant pocket, so it's really nice just having it there and pull out ready to go. We do have another larger one on the other side as well. When you unzip this one, it actually folds out a little bit bigger as well. You can even carry a very small water bottle in there, which is super handy as well. In front of the bag, we have two pockets as well. This bottom one, which is really handy for fitting anything you need that quick access to. This is where I used to keep all my masks when I was traveling. Up the top here, you have another pocket. Now, keep in mind, these two pockets cross over, so this big one goes all the way down. Anything you put here, this pocket actually goes behind it, so you can't fill that up too much. Jacket, extra shirt, whatever it may be. You've also got these two zip pockets at the top which are really handy for things when you're traveling, like pens, anything else you need quick access to. Of course, we also have the top pocket, which is so important to me. This is where when you're carrying extra gear, you can put it in the top or anything that's not camera gear, you can put in this top pocket as well. For me at the moment, I've actually got a drone bag in there. This is a Mini 3, but you could probably fit a Mavic in the top here as well. Usually I also kind of carry a tech pouch in here when I'm traveling, headphones, anything extra that you want that quick access to. As I said, sometimes I will also fit my camera in here to pull out, leaving the microphone on. There is another back zipper here, which is actually for accessing your laptop pocket, which we'll look at in a sec. But there's also this pocket here at the back, which I think is meant to be for documents, but I actually fit in all my extra batteries in here. So that brings me directly to that next point, which is the laptop sleeve. So as you mentioned, you can grab it from this point here, which is the easiest way to access it. You can also find your laptop through the rear access. So that's where it will sit nicely padded up against your camera gear, nicely protected against your back. 
And this is that little document holder that I was just talking about where I keep all my batteries. So they're really easy to access there with all my camera gear as well. So the last point is just the extra functionality you get with this bag. One thing I really like is just the extra handles we have. So yes, we have one at the top. We also have one at the bottom here, which just makes it really easy to carry the bag like this, especially when it's unzipped and you're getting gear out. So it's sitting on the bag. You can easily just, without closing it, safely move it around. We also have this side one also doubles as a luggage pass so you can pop it on your big suitcase when you're traveling. The other thing I found really great about this bag with that frame inside is how well it stands up. So you can pretty much put it anywhere, even on a really uneven surface like this, and it's gonna stay up pretty securely. I've had problems with other bags where they just won't stand up well, especially when they're packed. So this is actually a really great feature as well. And again, having that frame inside it makes a big difference for the bag to really keep its shape. So to wrap up, is this camera bag for you? Well, if you liked any of those features that I just went through, chances are you're going to like this bag because it is so versatile and has so much different functionality. It really fits pretty much any situation for me. So hopefully you'll love it too. Thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe, keep on creating and keep on growing my friends. I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.